Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader. Today, I will be reading Rosie the Pink Dragon Meets Abby and Maddie by Karen Magnan. Illustrations by Cat Black. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I have included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. To my granddaughter, Abby, who hates vegetables, but loves dragons, you are the inspiration for these rosy books. I love all my grandchildren, Abby, Julian, Jerry, and Cody. Once upon a time, in a land far away, there lived a magical pink dragon named Rosie, who lived in a big pink castle. She was in charge of the animals within the fairy realm. The fairy godmother was queen of the entire fairy realm. Animals could not eat meat there, of course, so Rosie grew all kinds of sweets for them. Gumball bushes, chocolate chip cookie trees, and lollipop trees. There was even a chocolate fountain for all the animals to drink from. The pixies grew all kinds of vegetables and fruit trees for the animals also. Rosie loved her vegetables, as well as all the sweets, and when she found out the fairy godmother had never even tried vegetables, she had her to dinner and made all kinds of vegetables for her. The fairy godmother found out she actually loved vegetables, and they became best friends and she visited Rosie whenever she could. Today, the fairy godmother stopped by one day to surprise Rosie, and she brought her two little granddaughters. Her eldest granddaughter was Maddie, and she was eight, and her younger sister, Abby, who was seven. They were very excited to meet Rosie and see all the animals. Rosie was excited too, as were all the animals. It was a long time since there were any children there. The girls wanted to try all the sweet things they could eat. That gave the fairy godmother and Rosie a chance to chat while they were running everywhere. The fairy godmother said, My goodness, they do have a lot of energy. Usually they talk so much. I can barely speak to teach them a single thing. I have been struggling to teach them how to use their magic wands. It has not gone very well. Rosie laughed and replied, It is so good to have children here. I am so glad you brought them. Please bring them here whenever you like. Perhaps I can help with their lessons. The girls reached into the chocolate fountain for a drink and they both fell into it head first and needed rescuing. The fairy godmother pulled them both out, completely covered and dripping with chocolate. She said, My goodness, what am I going to do with you two? You just get into mischief everywhere we go. Now, I could clean you up with my magic wand, but instead, I will have you try it on each other. She pulled out two magic wands. A pink one she gave to Maddie, and a purple one she gave to Abby. The godmother turned to Rosie and whispered, Teaching them how to use their magic wands has been a bit of a nightmare. They both laughed as they looked at the dripping chocolate girls who started to cry. Their grandmother said to them, Okay, let us get you cleaned up here. Now, I will say the magic words to use. Then, you will repeat them and use your wand the way I showed you. Remember, you have to say them exactly as I do. Okay, here we go. 
The fairy godmother then said the magic words. As I wave my magic wand, remove the chocolate from my sight so my sister is clean and bright. Abra Godiva. The girls looked at each other and said the words with Abby repeating after her sister. As we wave our wands, clean the chocolate from our sight so that we look as clean as before. Abracadabra. They waved their wands and sparks and a pink cloud surrounded the girls. Both Rosie and the fairy godmother looked at each other, shaking their heads. When the pink cloud disappeared, Abby stood there looking like a mix between a little girl and a purple rabbit. She had long floppy ears, she had purple fur, and a big puffy tail. Maddie, on the other hand, turned into a mix between a little girl and a pink monkey. She had big round ears on her head, a big pink nose with big pink lips. She had pink fur with a long skinny tail. Rosie and the fairy godmother could not help themselves and burst out laughing, which of course made the girls cry. It's not funny! They both whined together in between their sobbing. What did we do wrong this time? Grandmother? Maddie asked when she calmed down. Their grandmother was trying so hard not to laugh. She replied, truthfully, I have no idea. You did say the spell a little different. I told you it had to be exact. Were you thinking of these animals as you said the spell? Have you turned yourselves into these animals before? Both girls were looking down at the ground. They knew they were in trouble and did not want to answer her. She repeated herself. Well, Abby or Maddie, would either of you like to tell Grandmother the truth? Abby cried out. It was her idea. She pointed at her sister. Maddie argued. You said you wished you were a purple rabbit. I just gave you your wish. Then you turned me into a pink monkey because I granted your wish. It wasn't my fault. Grandmother said we should grant wishes. They were arguing back and forth. Rosie and the fairy godmother were both trying hard not to laugh. The fairy godmother turned to her granddaughters and said, using her most stern voice, You are not going to put the blame on me for this craziness. I told you to not use your magic on any living thing unless I am around. I am surprised you were able to turn yourselves back. Maddie quietly replied while looking at the ground. We couldn't. Every time we tried, we turned into a different animal. Luckily, the pixies were watching and did it for us. We were afraid you would find us like that. Their grandmother replied, Lucky for you, there are pixies here that were able to save the day. I am sure they will be laughing about this one for a long time. I should let you fix this, but I guess I better do it, just to be sure it is done right this time. She said, As I wave my magic wand, Remove the chocolate from my sight, so Abby and Maddie are clean and bright. Abra Godiva. She waved her magic wand, and the sparks once again flew, and they were surrounded by a pink cloud. The cloud disappeared, and there stood the little girls, all squeaky clean, and wearing their same clothes. She said, 
Did you two learn a lesson about trying to do magic by yourselves and doing what you are told? Yes, grandmother, they both replied. The fairy godmother said, I was hoping Rosie could help me watch over you too and teach you some of her magic. She is very magical too. After seeing you too in action, she probably wants nothing to do with you. Nonsense! It takes more than a spill into the chocolate fountain and turning themselves into animals to scare me off. Rosie laughed. The godmother said, Wonderful! We will be back tomorrow. Maybe we can come by later in the afternoon and stay for dinner. You can make your specialty. I would say they've had enough sugary treats for a while. She gave Rosie a wink and a smile. The girls gave Rosie a quick hug before leaving with their grandmother to be brought home to their parents, whom they knew would also not be happy with them. Rosie went to her pink castle to plan her dinner party for the fairy godmother and the two young girls. She decided to start with salad, then a huge plate of broccoli, carrots, green and yellow squash, and some green beans. If they were good, maybe she will let them have cupcakes for dessert. She couldn't wait, looking forward to seeing their faces when they saw what would be for dinner. Perhaps, like the grandmother, the girls would find the vegetables tasty too. She hoped so, but looked forward to the reaction when they realized Rosie and their grandmother played a little joke on them. She went to bed that evening, still laughing about the girls. She had beautiful dreams of being in her garden full of gumballs, lollipops, and cookies. This time, though, the two little girls were in her dream, staying far away from that chocolate fountain. Such a wonderful dream. She loved them so much already. The end. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe.